Greetings, Earth Faith here to talk about the April 8th solar eclipse. Now, uh, this eclipse will be seen in the United States and Mexico. Uh, and it's, uh, it's the last eclipse that will be seen in the United States until uh, 2044. So, if you miss this one, you'll have to wait a while. It'll begin in Mazatlan, Mexico and make its way up in a diagonal path through Texas, the northeast, uh, 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 passing through the Midwest of the United States. Now, the thing is that if you are on that direct tra trajectory beginning in Mazatlan, Mexico, uh, and heading up into the United States, then you'll get a 100% coverage of the, where the moon covers the sun 100 percent and uh, that is just on that lineage where you'll see uh, the total eclipse however uh, if you're farther away uh, depending on the distance from that line that you are in either direction uh, east or west uh, then your coverage will be reduced 90 80 70 60 etc a uh, uh, percent of the, of the moon covering the sun. So obviously where the sun is totally covered by the moon, you're going to see a darkening on the earth. Uh, the sky will become dark. And, um, and that will last for about four minutes maximum in that lineage. You'll get a four minute eclipse which is a pretty long eclipse because the last eclipse lasted about two and a half minutes. So that's pretty good. Now there's a lot of folklore around um, uh, the, the, uh, the eclipse that's coming on April 8th. There is some Christian prophecy about, you know, whether this eclipse is an indication of the second coming of Jesus. There's also... Interestingly enough, Native American uh, mythology around uh, eclipses. Uh, we have one story of a black squirrel named Funny Losa who is hungry and uh, he decides to go up and eat the sun. And the people come out, the women uh, with their tin cans and, and uh, cooking pots and uh, the men with their guns, and they start to make a lot of noise, shooting up their guns, rattling their cans, uh, to get this squirrel uh, to stop eating the sun. And of course, you know, in a few minutes, the, uh, the eclipse uh, passes, and, and the sun reappears completely, and of course, uh, the, all this noise making becomes celebration, and that is the uh, anticipation for the Christian story as well is a celebration at the end of the day. Earth Faith here, signing out.